Welcome to the review of the world's first Android, $80 Android laptop. So this laptop is just crazy cheap. It's only 80 US dollars. Uh, but, and it can run Android. But the funny thing is that uh, this video is uh, actually using uh, a model that is running Windows CE. And I just put the Android background but uh, that's just because I like to put the Android in the title and maybe there will be more people watching this video. But anyways, this 80 US dollar laptop is able to run Android. Right now it's running Windows CE and it's uh, the MQ, MQ, MenQ. MenQ is the name of the, the, the company. They are uh, from China, from Shenzhen. I think they're from Shenzhen. And they manufacture uh, somewhere in China. They manufacture this laptop, which is uh, now based on the ARM, the Samsung ARM processor, the ARM 9, 926 something. And uh, here you can see it's, um, it's able to go on the internet. If I click here, it loads the internet, as you can see uh, there. And I click and I go on the Google, I go on Google. Uh, here you can see it's running a nice Google uh, and it's not neat even uh, Google in Chinese so what could I um, what kind of website do you want to see let's go on the website of uh, the Queen of England uh, of England I just type in like this and you can see it's actually loading nice pictures of the Queen of England so it just proves that it's for real. It's actually real, really real. It's actually really, uh, I mean, it's, it's a real laptop. I click 80 US dollar. And it's true, it's only 80 US dollar. But there's something else about the price, you know? And that's what they told me when they told me, please check it out, make a review of the laptop. And it's $80, but there's a $80 is, you can't just go and get it in the supermarket right here in Copenhagen today. Or anywhere like you can't go to Walmart I don't think they have this one yet and this model is kind of uh, famous already it's called the Alpha 400 and uh, since basically kind of uh, last year in the beginning it was just the MIPS processor they were using but now they're using the ARM uh, Samsung processor and they are um, able to run uh, some kind of Linux or uh, Windows CE and they told me they told me very specifically it's possible to run Android it, to, it is possible. So even though it's only an arm, uh, the British monarchy, it's very interesting. So you can click around and uh, I, I'll show you up close uh, what other kinds of things you can do. And right now I'm going to try and see if I can play a video. So I put here, I put an SD card on the side and I put some, uh, some DivX video. So I can try and see if it's going to work. So I click on the SD card. Uh, I click here, I go into the SD card, and I click. Tonight, more Gitmo prisoners tortured with rock music. Ooh. I say nothing goes better with the Beatles than a good beating. The beating, uh, so here you can see, it's actually kind of working. And this is a DivX file that I that you can download on internet, totally legally. I mean, you have to ask permission to, uh, the, to, the, uh, to the guy. Let me click. You click like this, you can see. So it's it has it has kind of DivX playback support. Uh, probably something like a DVD resolution video codecs are supported, and it has uh, the Skypey. The Skypey. Here I'm opening the Skypey uh, like this, and I can even let's try and do a call. I'm gonna call um, my secretary and see. Um, I know that she's eating right now, but I'm gonna still gonna call just to irritate. Let's see if they answer. Because there is a Skype, it's a real Skype. Come on, answer, I don't care if you're eating. Well, there is Skype and... Hello? Yeah, can you hear? Can you hear what I'm saying? Hello, hello. Is Titan's wife is on the Yana? 
you see, it's it's actually it's actually working. You you can just call random people, and uh, uh, free for free for totally free on an eighty dollar, possibly Android laptop. It's not Android right now. So just continue watching this video, and I'm gonna show you um, kind of the interfaces, how fast and all that, because. You can kind of do some things. It's ARM 9, but imagine if there was ARM Cortex A8 or ARM the newly announced ARM Cortex A5. Imagine if you have that kind of modern, newer processor. That's kind of the last year's processor because this one is ARM 9, which is technology from 2003, kind of. But imagine if they could put the latest ARM, and maybe yeah, the max $10, $20 extra, because they, they need to have the latest, the fastest ARM. ARM Cortex A9, uh, A8, A9 next year maybe, and then run a full Android. And then what you would want to have is Chrome. You can have Chrome running on it. Why don't, I mean, that's what Google is doing. They are making Chrome OS. And Chrome OS, what it basically means, it means that there will be a Chrome browser for the ARM processor. So right here you have it, um, just click around, uh, watch the rest of the video and I'm going to show you how it works. So right here I'm going to show you up close uh, the Windows CE with the Android wallpaper, uh, the $80 laptop. So it's really, 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 really cheap. So um, I'm going to show you around here a little bit what it can do. So I showed you already that it can uh, it can uh, go on on Skype, and you have a video playback with a media application, and uh, we can continue the video. Uh, Bill Simmons is here to talk about his 700-page book about basketball. So there is um, video playback, which is kind of okay. And uh, then you have documents. So I'm going to uh, open the text maker. And then I'm going to show you, try and show you up close, that um, uh, I can write a pretty fast uh, bunch of text using the text. Oh, you can't really see what I'm typing. Editor. So, uh, text editor is kind of fine. It's fine. I mean, you type some text. It's an $80 laptop and it's going to do text pretty okay. So, then um, I can show you that you can go and file and uh, save as. And uh, there's a word, word uh, 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 format here. I'm trying to show you. There's a Word format. There is a Word 97. There is a, a Open Document format and uh, some RTF and a whole bunch of other things here. So you basically, you can save your text documents and anything you want. So you, you can, if you want, you can write your book on this, and uh, that's gonna work uh, fine for that. And but I'm not totally sure how much battery life it has. Um, so that's called text maker or something like that. So then I exited that. Let's let's try and make a Skype call. Um, let's see uh, about the Skype call quality. So I'm going to call somebody. Uh, even though it's kind of midnight, so I hope I'm waking them up. And I connected the um, uh, the the microphone. So I'm talking right now uh, with my secretary. Can you hear me? Hello, uh, you are live right now on YouTube. What? Yeah, can you say can you say that uh, you, uh, what do you think about YouTube? About YouTube? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't really go and watch YouTube. No, you don't watch YouTube. Uh, that was uh, very interesting. Uh, thanks you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. So there you see, uh, there was a Skype conversation that kind of worked. So I'm going to show you around here. Uh, there's headsets, so you can have headphones and speaker and SD card. I think it supports uh, SDHC, so you can have uh, 16, 32 gigs, whatever. And there's two USB ports right here, 
and there is an Ethernet port behind here and one more USB behind there and then the charger and I'm not totally sure how much battery life it has but uh, in theory they can optimize something like this and um, well the talk is that ARM processors I mean this one has a super cheap since it's only 80 US dollar it has a super cheap uh, I'm guessing maybe a one cell or two cell or whatever it's called and the battery here is uh, really cheap you can use two screws to get it off and there's a battery here but in theory with a three cell battery you could have uh, 10 hours or more uh, on a on a arm powered laptop um, so that's the cool thing about it so right now I'm, I'm gonna connect um, I want to connect a mouse so I'm gonna uh, show you that I can use a normal mouse and um, I'm going to go on on something else so uh, there is let's go on a bunch of websites because that's the most important thing so right now I am going to try to load Google so here is the Google which is displaying kind of funny on this um, uh, there's some kind of bug right here but it's not so bad right now so what I'm going to look for is um, uh, what should I look for? Some horses. Uh, horse on Wikipedia. And that's really, uh, it shouldn't be hard to get on, on that search result at least. And there it says horse, Wikipedia is re result number one. So I clicked. And so even if I'm just going on Wikipedia, you see it's not super fast. It's kind of, kind of slow and I can scroll over here uh, there's a bunch of pictures of um, uh, the Perisodactyla um, all these things, I mean it's kind of a big Wikipedia page with a whole bunch of horse facts and uh, so there you can see how it scrolls it's kind of lagging because it's an R9 so it's kind of the lowest power ARM processor that you can kind of have ARM 9 but imagine that you could have an ARM Cortex A8 which is perhaps 10 times faster than this and the ARM Cortex A8 I don't think is more much more expensive to implement than this one so there when I go back I zoom back a little bit again and uh, I'm going to show you that um, so this is really like taking an easy kind of browsing uh, then you, you click on, on out uh, like this and you can jump back to another app you click switch to then you're back to because it's multitasking it's running a bunch of apps at the same time then I switch to and I'm back to my horse and I can close the browser and then down here is uh, the uh, the tray the taskbar or how it's called and I can enter uh, the documents I can browse around uh, the computer I'll show you uh, here the settings control panel I'm gonna show you on their system you can see right now it's running a Windows CE 5.0 and has a Samsung ARM uh, what does it say here ARM, ARM uh, 926 EJ dash s3 c2 four five zero with 64 megabytes of ram uh, so it's um uh, it is kind of down there as as kind of like the minimum that you can kind of make a computer and it's made the by menq chinese company and um if i click here on power i can see there's the 36 uh, percent there's a bunch of schemes so you can uh, switch state uh, idle something like that all these things uh, which is I mean basic uh, basic Windows CE so what does it say here display internet options keyboard network dial up connections I don't really think there there would be a 3G dongle support I haven't tried it storage manager so there if I click on that it says um, there is only 64 megabytes of storage built in so it's really 
kind of low. Uh, but who cares? I mean, why do you need storage? Then you go over to the SD card. I can see there's a 2 gig SD card that I put in. And uh, this is the OS disk, which is, uh, I'm not totally sure. Uh, maybe it's 128 megabyte storage. I'm not so sure how, it, how it's splitting up the storage and stuff. So it's something like uh, 64 or 128 megabytes. That's it. That's all you get. But, I mean, if you want to do just a, basic, a bunch of basic things, this is basically, to me, this kind of shows that, in theory, uh, this could be more than just a wallpaper, in theory. They could have uh, kind of like a basic Android on this, and, and, um, and with a Chrome browser for Android, I mean, just a Chrome browser for ARM, so it doesn't matter if it's Android or Ubuntu or whatever. If, you can, if, they can, if Google can just make sure to, to provide us with um, a cool uh, Chrome browser uh, for ARM processors, then as long as I can get full browsing experience pretty like snappy if they can somehow make that work on this or at least uh, I mean if they have to use ARM Cortex A8 I'd be fine with that as long as it's still around hundred dollars or cheaper so there you have it cheap cheap is not Android but it could be and perhaps within a month or so I will uh, get the Android the actual Android version or they will Maybe send me an email and give me something to download and plug to a USB uh, stick or something and click on something to kind of uh, change the firmware to an Android one if they have it working already. Or maybe some hackers can do it. There's tiny little hacking community for the Alpha 400, which is the MIPS based, but maybe there's something going on also for the ARM, uh, ARM based uh, super cheap laptop. So I'm not so sure how many they are making so far in China, but the goal really is to make 500 uh, renminbi laptops, or maybe on, at least under 1,000 renminbi. And uh, Wi-Fi laptops and with Ethernet, so they basically take it in with a, their Ethernet. You plug this to a modem or whatever, you have internet at home. So it's super basic, but if you want to write documents and Probably you could run uh, sugar as well. The arm uh, for sugar, sugar and arm, and which is um, which is there. This project, which everybody knows about, so and they are making an arm version, which is called the EXO 1.75. So basically, this technology, which is kind of basic, maybe a little bit too basic, which is arm nine. Uh, most likely they will use uh, ARM Cortex A8 on, on this version, which will have the same design and uh, uh, will be cool for all the children in the world to get cheap laptops, because that's what's important, is just to get the price down, down to the minimum and have 10 hours battery life. Right, so this is it. Thanks for watching.